The Saskatchewan Health Authority is moving patients who need an alternate level of care into this facility. Diamond House is a private personal care home. Seniors with all levels of need live here, right up to level 4 care. Diamond House came to our attention when we received reports that a senior was allegedly attacked by a new resident here. So far, we haven't been able to verify the event. The Ministry of Health says they're investigating the allegation, but RCMP says they're not aware of any such event. People are concerned. Larry Adams's both parents live here, and he says what's unfolding at the facility is bizarre. As a family member, we're trying to understand, you know, where these uh, new residents are coming from and why the environment within the facility has changed in a negative way. The new residents are part of an ongoing agreement between three care homes and the Saskatchewan Health Authority. It falls under the city's Capacity Pressure Action Plan to free up hospital beds. The SHA says these once acute patients will have their needs met here. They are no longer um, needing the kind of the level of care that they would receive in a hospital, uh, but they still receive some degree of um, support, support with eating, getting dressed, um, kind of walking, those kind of things, uh, simple wound care, um, potentially uh, individuals waiting for um, some type of surgery, um, IV treatment um, um, where they could be non-weight bearing. 75 beds have been added in and around Saskatoon for these patients. 30 of them are at Diamond House. And it's not free. It's based on income and could cost a patient up to $3,300 a month. Diamond House declined to comment and their ownership group Golden Healthcare was unreachable. Larry Adams says his parents have been here less than a year and this isn't the first issue. In approaching the manager of the facility about our concerns, my family member was treated abruptly and told to, if they weren't happy, to move my parents out. I mean, this is not the solution for the overcrowding of hospitals. One senior's advocate says using care homes to relieve capacity issues at hospitals might be a short-term solution, but it shouldn't be a permanent fix. He says, for seniors to be protected, there needs to be proper supervision and unannounced inspections. We need to be assured that uh, not only is there the proper training for staff and others uh, to handle these kinds of, or to prevent these kinds of incidents, but, but that they are being carried out and, and on, a, on a regular basis. And we don't have the assurance in this province at the moment that that's actually happening as much as it should. Van Gorder says policies should be in place so seniors are treated with respect and dignity. The patient who was allegedly attacked has moved out of Diamond House. No word on what will happen with Larry Adams' parents. Priya Bhatt, CBC News, Warman.